Now you've mentioned the two main applications of my recent work. On the left, you've seen the artificial retina, an organic biocompatible and most importantly, biointegrable device capable of restoring the light sensitivity that was lost as a consequence of a damaged retina. On the right, it was shown the Lion-Hearted project that is the framework of my ongoing research and which is aiming to develop an organic nanoparticle device capable of exploiting light to modulate the proliferation of cardiac cells, thus restoring the cardiac function in injured hearts. Now, you can be wondering what my project is about. Well, let me clarify it to you by just briefly drawing a little comparison about interface and communication. Whenever you have it caught to me, like the me and you, like the subject and the object, like our organic integrated device and the cells in the body, you have a border zone, an interface, in fact. I can be a more materialistic kind of person. I can think of myself having a neat interface separating me from the rest of the world, or I can have a more holistic kind of vision and think of a more gray interlaced area between us. Similarly, depending on both the characteristic of the material we are studying and where, what we are investigating, we can range from diffuse to neat interfaces. Nothing exists without interaction and communication, and these must pass through the interface which exists between the sender and the receiver. Let's come back to the me and you story. Whenever I have a thought that is, in fact, energy and information, I can express it by talking or writing, so letting the message go out of me, so someone can receive it. Or I can just express it with my face, with a gesture, blushing, by changing the perception of my finger, but without letting anything go out of me. Similarly, our devices, when they receive light, which is likewise energy and information, can transfer electrons through the interface, thus creating a messenger molecule that can be sensed by a cellular receptor, as happened with known particles in our heart cell, or they can just change the field around them, which once perceived, let the information jump to destination, like in artificial retinas. In this context, in, sorry, in this context, um, my role is to study how light stimulation impacts on the behavior of this interface by orga uh, within uh, uh, organic materials, often identified as plastic, but there is a lot more going on here, and their usual environment inside living organisms. There is studies have a plethora of possible applications which are not limited to biomedical issues like the ones we talked about up to now, but can branch out into green energy field where exploiting this same kind of processes it is possible to develop a totally bio-friendly and environmentally friendly way to convert the energy of the sun into safe zero carbon emission fuels. Thank you, everyone.